So there's two questions that every salesperson would like to have an answer to. And that is, who is the decision maker and how soon is the decision going to be made? The problem is you just can't ask that straight out. It comes across way too aggressive and too salesy. You've got to be careful there. You've got to kind of backdoor into this. How do you do it? Well, it's really simple. Once again, you use this approach of the dance. You have to give a little information first before you ask the question. And then you ask the question and they'll respond back accordingly. You go through this dance, right? So what's the question? Well, first of all, to set it up, you're giving some information and do so about the timeline. No matter what you're selling, there's probably some sort of timeline. If you're in the software business, there's usually a development period. If you're in manufacturing, there's a build out period. There's a backlog. Even if you're selling something on the phone, there's probably a shipping of five to seven days. If you're in retail, there's probably a back storage room that it might take you five or 10 minutes to go get something. Use this to explain to the person the timeline. Hey, it's gonna take about four weeks to have this ready for you. And then you turn it and you ask the key question, how soon do you need this? And then you wait, let them respond. And they will tell you, well, I'm looking for this in four or five weeks. And so, yeah, we better get going on this. Then you immediately follow up with the decision maker question, but don't say the word decision maker. Decision maker is a bad, you don't even want to mention those words. What you want to do is you want to ask, what is your process or who else is involved with this? And then once again, you sit back and wait and they will respond accordingly. And there you have it. You've just gained insight into who is the decision maker, who's involved with the decision making process. And you've also gained information on the timeline. And this is a great way as you're leading up to a close, you now have a lot of the information you need. But again, I warn you, you can't ask these straight out. If you do so, it's going to come across salesy. I usually wait a little deeper into my presentation and then I'll talk about the timeline. And that's your window. That's where to ask these questions is when you bring up the timeline. Remember, how soon do you need this? And who else is involved in the process? You'll find that these two questions do wonders at getting the information that you need. Thank you for watching. And I want to invite you to visit my website, blazersales.com, where you'll find more content. If you learned something new today, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.